Buongiorno, buonasera, benvenuti amici. Welcome my friends and welcome to another Inky Shorts. And in this episode, I will be reviewing four inks from the Van Diemen's Night Collection. I've gathered uh, most of them uh, and we're going to be doing them in parts. We'll take a look at these first four and in subsequent episodes, I will be reviewing the others. So let's start. We'll be reviewing the Bonfire Night, Golden Orb Web, Twilight Mist, and Shooting Star. So let's get to work. Okay, first of all, the paper that I'm using uh, will be uh, this uh, Sanson uh, Tomo River uh, memo pad that I purchased on uh, Etsy. Uh, very nice. It's an A4 size, so we can get all four here with some sampling and uh, we'll be able to test them. In terms of what I'm using, uh, I'm using this folded pen from uh, the Toronto Pen Company, which I think is fabulous for swatching. I prefer this over uh, paint brushes or even Q-tips or swabs. Uh, I, I find that the, the, the brass or the steel, the metal, if you will, it kind of mimics much better a, uh, uh, a fountain pen nib than a fountain pen, uh, than a swab, I should say, a cotton swab or a, a paintbrush. Uh, and I think it's a little more accurate when it comes to swatching. Then I also have this brass nib. And in previous episodes, I was a little bit unfair to this nib. Um, the more I use it, the more I, I begin to understand what it does. And unlike just an ordinary nib that you, you know, a dip, a dipping pen, if you will, that you have to constantly dip into the ink, this one manages to keep quite a bit of ink in there. Uh, and you know what? I'm getting used to it more and more. And I've got to tell you, they are expensive. I think I paid this around $80, um, nib and, and the holder as well. And originally I thought, wow, uh, I'm not sure I really like this. But the more I use it, the more I understand how it works, the more I think uh, I'm happy with the purchase. So uh, sorry about those un early unfair comments, if you will. I, th I think uh, I've got to take those back. So let's get going. First thing, bonfire night. Let's see what this does. It's a shimmer ink, so we will shake it up a little bit. There we go. By the way, Van Diemen's has on its site uh, some, some uh, very good hints or cues uh, as to how to use shimmering ink. They say not to shake it too much because by shaking it too much it causes bubbles and if you're going to be inking a pen with 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 liquid that has bubbles that it's it's not a, a a very nice combination but i'm not really inking a pen here i'm just swatching so um i'm going to give it a nice shake if you will <laughs>
go. So that's the four of them. Let me just back my camera out and just put them all four in view. I'm going to close this down. We're going to just uh, take a little break, get all the ink to, to dry nicely, and then we'll take a closer look at each. So we're back now, and the, um, the inks have all dried up, so we can see the shimmer. Uh, this shooting star here at the bottom uh, is still a little wet, but look at this bonfire night. Very nice. It's an orangey red um, with some shimmer in it. Um, as you could see, very nice shimmer. Same thing with the golden orb web. You get that yellow gold the twilight mist, purplish, it's still a little wet, but my favorite is the shooting star. I've been waiting almost uh, indefinitely for that uh, big blob there to dry up, but that's going to take a little while. I just put a little bit too much. But as you can see, the ones that I use the fountain, the folding pens on, have all dried up fairly, fairly quickly. You know, it's the blobs that take a little, little bit longer. So there you have it, just four very very nice inks from van demons hope this gives you any an idea this is part one of that uh, particular collection which is the night collection and uh, we will review part two and other three inks and keep going until the entire collection has been reviewed for you i hope you enjoyed it have a great day and don't forget fountain pimp no, it's actually fountain pen ink therapy for all. Thank you.